A few days ago, as I embarked on a train journey, an intriguing chip brand caught my attention. One I had never experienced before. Tempted by curiosity, I decided to give it a try. And to my delight, the taste was heaven. That brand was none other than Yellow Diamond. Intrigued by this newly found snack sensation, I delved into its story, discovering a tale of resilience, hard work and trim that has propelled Yellow Diamonds to become one of India's most beloved snack companies. Today, Yellow Diamond proudly holds the title of the fifth largest snack company in India. Reaching this pinnacle was no cakewalk. Let's rewind to 1992 when Amit Kumat returned to India from abroad after completing his education and found himself hunting for a job. His journey led him to Vardaman Snacks where he decided to where he dedicated nearly a decade of his life. After working day and night, he was frustrated by the lack of growth. He left the company only to face the harsh economic realities of India at that time. Undeterred, Amit joined his father's clothing business. But destiny had other plans. Amit's fabrics and threads, a new desire emerged within him. A desire to be an entrepreneur. Armed with a background in chemical studies, he ventured into the chemical industry for his maiden business. Unfortunately, the venture incurred a loss of 7 crores in the first year. Yet, Amit refused to bow down to adversity. Instead, he turned his attention to the snacks industry, a domain he knew very well. Teaming up with his brother Apoorv, they sought support of their family friend Arvind Mehta, a real estate business owner. Impressed by the duo's vision, Arvind promised them an investment of 15 lakh. With this financial backing, the brothers started their snacks company. They meticulously researched products, uncovering a demand for cheese balls in the market that had no supplier. Seizing the opportunity, they launched cheese balls as their inaugural product. Manufactured and designed in the city of Lucknow, these cheese balls packets were then shipped to Indore in Madhya Pradesh. These cheese balls found resounding success by making an initial revenue of 12 lakhs which skyrocketed reaching a crore in the second year and an astounding 7 crores in the third year. Around 2007, after seeing everyone's preference for kurkure, Pratap Snacks introduced a product akin to it. Destiny and hard work smiled upon the brothers once again as the second product also became consumers' favourite. Manufacturing units were established and the product line expanded to include chips, numkins and other snacks. At present, the business has flourished with its products spreading across 26 states in India. In 2007, the company leaped further by funding an IPO, securing substantial funding. Today, Yellow Diamond continues to thrive, reaching new heights. The struggle of the company imparts two crucial lessons from the founders and investors. Firstly, success is a stepping stone, not the destination. Always strive for more. Secondly, a keen understanding of customer needs coupled with innovation paves the way to success. So if you enjoyed the journey through Yellow Diamond's captivating narrative, share it with your friends, hit the like button and stay tuned for more.